Hi, I'm Tony Stefani with Hillside Christmas Tree Farm. Today we're going to be pruning some uh, concolor fir. The fir range in height from, I would say, 5 to 8 feet. Um, again, we're going to hold these for another year and sell them next year in 2021. So, tools needed. We have our two, two foot extended uh, clippers for the tall stuff. We have a knife. We have our regular clippers. And we have our safety gear. And I have my hand tape to avoid blisters. And we just kind of go through. I think con colors that kind of throw a lot of tops, so a lot of time is spent on the tops, uh, making sure that they grow from one stem. So we'll kind of take a look at how we do that. So here we go. And again, like the uh, Canaan, we'll be wearing the GoPro on the forehead, giving you kind of a point of view style. And I'll be talking as, as I'm working. So hopefully you'll pick something up you'll be able to use on your farm. So the big thing with con color is they grow from, have them grow from one point. As far as the side work, there is, these trees have kind of, we've done a really good job and learned a lot about con color so that we can, real minimal work that needs to be done on the sides. So again, here's a double. The tree needs to grow from one liter. Him and him. Now we do the sides. Just a little bit on the top. And that'll do it. So this is what gets a lot of people is, you know, this, this is wanting to be a leader here. So this should come completely out. There's enough to back it up to fill any holes. There's stuff above it to fill in too. This guy wants, he's turning up. He's turning up. He's turning up. This one will trim down a little bit. And that's the structure we want. Here's what it's trying to be. Just got stung by something. And there we have it. Nice con color fur. All right, get on a double top. Just pick one. This is all nothing. I think we'll trim this leader down a bit. Here's something that's trying to turn up. And now the sides. That research that I've talked about in my other video, I was really paying attention to these con color fur when they were about two feet tall. So really learned a lot on how to maintain these and grow them into what looks like really good Christmas trees. And we will come back with our two foot pruners to kind of clean up the top a bit. Actually, I'll just grab it right now. All right, so we got our extendo hands. Honestly, it's looking like this little guy right here is gonna be the one that's showing the most promise, so. Cut him, we'll cut him, and we'll cut him. Now 
This guy. Trim them out. The sides. Here's long enough, we don't need anything, so we need them to fill in a little bit more, so we'll shorten up the top. And I think that's good enough. Here we got a three. So again, we talk about bud density. Look at all of the buds along this top. And that's, you know, this leader is, we have a 14 handle, 16 inches. So we won't be doing any help to this tree by only cutting this little bit off. So just leave it and let that fill in. Again, good shape. We don't need to do much at all on the sides. This one here, we don't have the bud density to support that long of a leader. So we'll cut it, cut it down a bit. In con colors, this is what you're looking for. This guy is giving the characteristics of a whole new shoot and uh, leader and a real dominant branch. So we want to nip those out. Same thing kind of here. This looks like almost a top whirl. Again, bud density, right? We don't have it. So we'll cut this one, say there. And now we can't leave all that. There we go. Here. Right, he's shooting up through the center of the tree. But if we cut him all the way out, we'll probably leave a hole. So we'll leave a little bit. We'll cut back into the old growth a bit. Got it kind of fatter, but I think it'll fill in nicely. Again, here, this is a top whirl that's developing, so we don't need that. Kind of a lot of them. At this height, maybe it doesn't matter to nip all of these out because this tree is going to.
probably for sure be sold next year. But for the lesson, in general, you don't want these basically other tree growing through your main tree. So nip it out. See how last year this leader that I've been talking about developed into kind of another whole top whirl here. So we're going to cut it back a year. There's enough to, uh, behind it to support filling in this hole, so we'll be okay. So while pruning, it's important to keep your gear clean and sharp. It just makes for an easier day. So we, have, we carry a little uh, razor knife and then the blade we can use. We use our golf cart. Get all the pitch off of the blade. And then also we carry a you know, sharpening stone. Keep the blade nice and sharp. I think this is the most dangerous part of the job. I've cut myself more times sharpening the knives than I have actually pruning, so this is the dangerous part. Now the knife is sharp. And our little hand clippers. Have a smaller razor, we kind of clean that up. Get all the pitch off that. Again, sharpen that up, and we're back to it. I think uh, one of my oldest memories on the farm was when I was uh, learning to prune. We didn't even live out here at the time, so it was younger than 10, and it was my dad and I, we drove from Dearborn, and I just was curious on how sharp this knife was. I slid my finger down it, and I'll tell you, I still remember, these things are uh, very sharp, so be careful out there.
I think I'm going to leave them. Some of them I'll look at, but... I think they're pretty long. Yeah, I know you do. But look at this. Look at look at how much is growth. Well, I'll in that one there, but you... Well, okay. I've been looking. Okay. Like this one doesn't have it, right? So he's going to get nipped. Yeah, right. <laughs> you won't resist and you'll cut them, come back and cut them anyway. No, I won't. <laughs> All right, and then when you can put that premium tag on it, you'll be so happy because I made it reach out. Yeah. Hey, I put a video up. You should watch it. Understanding Canan for growth. It's that one that had that like two foot leader that we left. Yeah. Filled in pretty nice the next year. <clears throat> yep. We won't be able to tell our trees apart pretty soon. You start acting like that. What's that? Said you won't be able to tell our trees apart pretty soon if you start doing that. Yeah, See, like this, Dan. This is this is last year. Yeah, From here to here, right? Yeah. Look at how well it fills in. Right? Sold. And here again, we see where last year's bud didn't grow. This year it decided to go. Grow, so now it's got to go. <laughs> Painful.
basically that does it for pruning our uh, you know five to eight foot con color fir uh, let me know what you think i hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something thanks for watching and please subscribe to the channel